Good morning, wonderful Dublin town. How's everybody doing? Well, Dublin town, the world of interweb, wherever you are. How are you? How's things with you guys? How's this week been so far? Um, I am going to be heading out. I'm going to meet Alan Doherty, uh, a place in a wonderful band called Aldoc. Um, and I'm giving him a bit of advice on Instagram I've been doing for the past few weeks. And uh, in another session, I've gone through some of the lead details of how to utilize the Instagram best for, for their purposes. Um, I've just have a video uploading for tomorrow's vlog. It's a pretty cool one. It's Liberty Hill in a porterhouse. I uh, haven't done that kind of a two camera angle shot from Porterhouse in a while, so it was actually quite nice to edit, edit it. Uh, it's nice to hear back some of the stuff as well. There's something magical happening with Liberty Hell, uh, something about the, that jam band element of like improvisation meets uh, Irish music meets kind of country uh, rock vibe. So there's something magical there, and looking back to the videos, it's kind of like, whoa, okay, this could, might just work. That's about it. Um, I stayed out late last night, way too late. So I'm paying the price a little bit for it, but I'm letting, not letting it have any effect on me. Uh, I'm still gonna crush today. I'm playing tonight with Liberty Hill again. So yeah, there we go. Uh, busy, busy, busy. So let's get on with it. I'm gonna go on with Alan now. So talk to you guys in a bit. Sitting at the gate waiting for the call The bikes are packed, you ain't turning back but Soon enough it's our time to pull You're letting go of the past Well, I can see it to you Oh, it's hot Oh Like. That meeting was um, me talking to Alan. Alan is um, a friend of mine. We go back very, very long time. Um, I kind of helped him out a few times over the years. Um, I, I like Alan because Alan is one of those guys that he makes things happen. He um, he's been quite successful in his career. He's he's played in a few different bands over the years. He's played in a band called Crowder. Uh, now he's got a new band called Aldoc, which is doing really, really well. Um, Alan also played in uh, the soundtrack for the Lord of the Rings movie. He played the flute on it. So, yeah, you could say Alan has been quite, quite successful. He's played in numerous other albums. He's, uh, he's produced albums himself as well. So, yeah, he's, he's one of those guys that, if I give him advice, I know he's going to do his best to try to make it happen. Um, so I thought I'd break down a little bit of about the conversation that we had because there was a few elements of it that I think some of you guys uh, really need to take on board as well. Alan reached out to me over the Instagram and said, listen, uh, would you have any advice on how to you know, do the Instagram thing better? Like he hasn't, uh, he, he's put a lot of effort in the past into Facebook and uh, you know, he's kind of realized that Instagram is a powerful tool so he's, he's making a lot of effort on that instagram to me um and not to, just to me it, this is actually uh, uh advice i've got from a much higher up in in the uh, social media marketing circles and it is that instagram is the the big big player at the moment snapchat is another one but the thing is that snapchat is still for the younger generation and um, thing about Snapchat is that I think it's going to be around for a little bit longer and I think uh, there will be a move towards Snapchat chat at some stage. Um, so it's when your moms and pops are going to turn into Snapchat, that's when that's going to become the next big platform to reach people. That's where Instagram is at the moment. Um, it still has very wide uh, age group and it, it has like what I would call um, most of our target market. So it is important, but um, you know you have to always kind of look one step ahead of what's the next big thing coming because uh, you know I come from my background in this whole thing is that I come from uh, 
as a musician where I had no money to promote bands and I had to figure out ways of making promotion out of nothing. So I always, I've been always looking for that new thing. Um, I mean, I was, I was in my in my space when uh, when that became the first kind of musical social media platform. Um, I watched, I, and I was a good. It was a great, great learning experience because I saw it change and I saw it crash and burn. I, I saw the benefits of it, and um, but then I saw the fall down of it as well. I've I've come to realize over the years that you know there's all these platforms. Some of them come and go. Um, you have to invest them. Um, you need to know when the ship is sinking and you need to just jump on the next one. And that's just the way it is. There's no point of crying about it. It's like everybody talks about Facebook. Like, uh, you know, it's ridiculous that we can't get, you know, we have all these people following us and now they can't read, we can't reach them. Don't cry over it. It's a paid advertising platform. Understand that. It's a paid advertising platform. And as of that, it is actually very, very, very good. Um, you know, you get a lot of return for your investment if if you do it right. And if you don't know how to do it right, and if you're in a business, um, either you got two choices, learn or hire somebody else who can do it. Um, the thing is that very rarely you do find somebody who could do it as passionately as you do because it's your money on the line, um, not theirs usually. So my point is that Instagram, um, Instagram is, I think for any artist and business, at the moment is 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 so vital to be there and it frustrates me when there are companies that I'm kind of either I work with in to certain capacity or I uh, you know it's something that I like and I see them not making effort on Instagram um, you know they're still waving their flag about you know like for example Facebook which is still important but Instagram is like more and more people are going to Instagram to look for things you know, it's becoming not all, like you go and search the hashtags, you go and look look what's out there. You're looking for a product, you want to see pictures of it, you go to Instagram. Or you go to YouTube if you want to see videos about things. Less and less people are doing it on Facebook because the Facebook search, the return on your search time on Facebook never uh, was as good as it would be on uh, YouTube or now it is on Instagram. So for any company out there or any artist out there, you need to be on Instagram. You need to spend time on Instagram. And this is the thing. It, you, you can turn around to me, and this is like what me and Alan were talking about. You can turn around to me and say, listen, show me how this is done. I'll show you how it's done. No problem. But I'm telling you, it's going to require a lot of hard work. It's going to require creativity, and it's going to require commitment of time, of being there and doing it. Because you cannot grow something if you're not willing to put the hours into it. And you cannot grow. Social media is about interacting do you know what i mean it, it's a so, the word social by itself implies to interacting you need to interact with people and if you're not interacting with people they're not going to care about you simple as that you know you need to be providing quality content providing value you need to be telling your story and um, it's not about going for the sale if like social media direct sales in social media rarely work but the beauty is that if you do it the right way, it's the most powerful advertising platforms in the world at the moment, as we as we see. You know, the days of going for like you know, come to our store, uh, we've got the best deals in town. Um, that doesn't work anymore. You need to offer something for. You need to give people a reason to come to your store. We've all kind of desensitized to advertising to a lot of extent. That's why a lot of the TV ads at the moment are becoming like these really weird. That has nothing to do with the actual product they're trying to sell, uh, because they're trying to break through that noise and make you kind of think, "What was that? Oh, what was that?" At least they stopped you and caught your attention. I don't personally think that that will work in a long run at all. It's just a gimmick that works. Just some some advertising agency did some sort of research and decided that this works right now, and then everybody started copying them, and that's it. That's the new. That's going to be out the window very very fast. What does work? What has always worked, and what will work in the future is telling your story and that's what you need to learn how to do you need to learn to how to tell your story on social media through pictures through video images and video are the most powerful things you at your disposal at the moment so every brand every company should have somebody who knows how to use a camera simple as like that's 
I don't think there's any excuses anymore in 2017. You just should have that. Somebody like Alan is wonderful because he's got a visual eye, he's got a visual passion to do that sort of stuff. I'm still saying to Alan that he's got to do more, which I'm sure I will push it into him. But he's on the right track. Uh, he's got the kind of the mindset is getting there and he, he knows how the technical side of things work. And that's the thing. I could have given Alan like a checklist of things to do and I knew he would have gone and done them, but he would have probably failed. What I'm trying to do is implement that thinking into the mind, which is like you need to, it's all about the story. It's about how you interact. It's not about you. It becomes about you somewhere along the way. But if you start with the fact that it's about you, you're going to fail. You know what I mean? It's about your audience first. It's about whoever's on the other side of the picture looking at your picture. It has to be about them first. So what I'm saying is 2017, if your brand, your company, your as a musician you don't have, or as an artist you don't have a fa Instagram page, you better go and create one right now and you better start learning how it works and you better start putting content out there because otherwise you're going to be left behind. Sorry to tell you, but it's the fact. Uh, if you utilize this information, you'll be thanking me in the future. Right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Onwards and upwards. Talk to you guys later.